YTPC, Port Smoking Pipes here. Yeah, it's been a while. Again and again. I, uh, in the middle of building additional cages for the Weiss Rabbit Bar. I was sitting here thinking, you know, I thank God for good, honest work. Honest work keeps an honest man honest, what I always said. You get out, work with your hands, and do a little sweating. You tend to appreciate things in life a little bit more. Such as the shade tree. Pipe for the low country Virginia. Mr. Dobbs and Pointy Briar. And a cold glass of iced tea. As my brother Curmudgeon would say, be thankful for what you have. Let me add to it, give thanks every day for what you have. Start doing that. Start being faithful with it. Good Lord, I add to it. Memorial Day weekend. I don't know about where you're at, but we got so many cicadas down here. It's just a low roar. I don't know if you can hear it. Got the normal ones right around us, but the ones further back in the woods sound like somebody's grinding steel all day long. It's an interesting sound. Not one that I want to stay around forever, though. Put up. Oh, a couple hundred feet of fence post. Put right string fence again. My wife's going to hopefully pick up this standard size poodle. They call them party poodles because of their color. Black and white. I don't know much about them. I'm just a old country boy. Dog is dog. Says she wants to start making videos about the new dog and her uh, labradoodle. I name a person. Told her I'd help her out. Might even learn how to edit videos. That way y'all don't have to suffer through what you see is what you get. I might be able to edit some of it out. I used to do that. It means I gotta learn a new program because the program I knew is outdated and probably not even supported anymore. The only reason why I'm interested in it is something to do with her. Gives us something to collaborate on. Too many times in life, you're going one way and she's going the other. Busy life. If you don't take time to collaborate on things, it'll fall apart. Remember, the good Lord commands you as a husband to treat her as he treats his church. Can't get any plainer than that. That will show him love, understanding, forgiveness. Treat him well. I've been guilty of not doing that. I go to work. I make sure there's a roof. 
sure there's food, make sure there's clothes. And that's where my mind stayed for a lot of years. I won't go to my grave re regretting not being able to work one more day. I guarantee it. I have six kids. They're acting like I raised them. They're headlong in their life. Head over heels in whatever project they got going on. You have the opportunity to influence them now before they get out of your house. Before they get too old to think you don't know what's going on. Do it. Make sure they gather around the dinner table every evening so y'all can talk. Don't make the mistakes I made. Don't be afraid to live a godly life. Be bold. Show your faith. Let the light shine. Where they realize it or not, it affects the people around you. They may not want to accept your spirituality, but they will recognize your kindness. And they will recognize the light coming out of you. And slowly, they change. I say that from experience. And I'm grateful for it. Say a bunch of planets going to line up in the sky for a show. It's the second show this year. This, well, the third show, if you count the cicadas. Said we could see northern lights down here with your camera. Nah, whenever it was the strongest, I was sleeping. Sure like a good, clean Virginia. Seems like that's been my go-to lately. I know old Cane Rod will be a little bit sad to hear that. Mind you, I keep a stash of uh, on a bookshop. I don't, I don't go very long without having one. It's just not my everyday grab right now. Quite frankly, right now, burleys are leaving a bitter taste in my mouth. Probably because of the heat. Tell you a little story. Last week I was mowing my lawn, right? And forever. I've been one of those guys that goes out, finds a $100 riding lawnmower. Somebody's tired of messing with most of the time they don't know what they're doing and they just want to dump it I pick it up clean up the carburetor usually it's usually the problem or it needs a new one either way it's a couple of dollars to spray it and an hour's worth of time to clean it or it's 35 50 bucks for carburetor that varies been going up lately. Look at these old riding lawnmowers and I run them and basically until they're trashed and scrap them. So I'm sitting there. I'm mowing last weekend on a hundred dollar lawnmower. And I was thinking, you know Lord, one well, of these days I'd sure like to have me a brand new lawnmower. And I made it about twenty or thirty feet and I go no, you know what? I'm satisfied with what I got. It's working just fine. I'm cutting the grass. I don't have to push it. I did push a couple times this year until I got the carburetor in. 
got two seasons out of it cleaning it and then finally I broke down and bought one. So my son is uh, wheeling and dealing. He'll go out and work for this and cash and then go out and he'll work for whatever you know, labor for this, labor for that. He gets around, he knows people, does odd jobs, what he does. And that's after, after his regular job, or between regular jobs. He's young, still waiting for him to get his head on straight. Lord help him, pray for him every day. Anyway, he says, Dad, I'm bringing a lawnmower. I shake my head. Son, I don't need another one. I got the one I run, and I got the sparks one sitting out here. He's adamant that he's bringing that lawnmower. So he shows up with it, pulls it out of the back, and it's almost a brand new lawnmower. It'd be one of the newest ones I've ever owned. Whoever had it. Didn't add oil to it when I got it from the store. Used it till it messed up the motor. Well, there's two or three motors sitting around. Before I know it, he's got another mo motor on it. Set the points on it. Or set the valves on it. And, uh, like a four-year-old riding lawnmower. <laughs> Yes, I'm blessed. Blessed to have the boy that God can use even though he doesn't know it. <laughs> Don't miss the small things. That's where the miracles are. If you're sitting around waiting for a great miracle to, to prove, for proof that he's there, you miss it. Doing miracles every day, but it's in the small things. The ones that are looking will see it. The ones that ain't looking don't see a thing. And that's the way of Jesus' whole ministry. Some will understand the parables, and the lost won't. One caveat with that, you have to get in the Word every day. You can be a believer but not be in the Word, and they won't make a lot of sense. Hot TPC, I appreciate you. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to finish this pipe under this shade tree that God gave me. Make that cold iced tea. Then we'll get back to that honest work. Happy Memorial Day weekend. God bless. Old Ford signing out.